All right, welcome to this Daily Sidereal Forecast for August 27th, Thursday. My name is Athen. So we have the moon in Capricorn here today. Let me go ahead and pan over. Uh, we have this full moon coming up on Saturday in Aquarius, so I feel like we'll be feeling those energies as the day unfolds, certainly. But um, Capricorn, who comes right before Aquarius, is about laying solid foundations in our life. Um, this is about the long-term road. You know, this is about our legacy. And when the moon's here, it's really tapping into those qualities. So I think patience, perseverance, having that overarching perspective as it has been the case with the moon in Sagittarius as well. But here in a more grounded sense, being open to whatever type of achievement or work that it does take, um, you know, to pursue our long-term goals and our long-term plans in life um, can go a long way with the moon in Capricorn. Now, this might be in relationships. It might have to do with work or whatever, but it's really tapping into that more disciplined energy and um, incorporating that into our lives. And through that, we can find a good way of working with uh, the emotional body and the day-to-day -day energies with the moon here. So with those foundations, you know, coming up, and I'll talk more about this in the weekend horoscope, is um, giving. That's what we're coming up to with Aquarius. So focusing on how we can contribute to causes and ideals larger than self. <clears throat> Maybe get involved in community or networking, things of that nature, but really tapping into that progressive and very individual spark that is each of us and really honoring that. So I think that'll be strong. I think we'll feel that. Um, but here with the moon and Capricorn, of course, seeing the big picture, taking it slow and um, setting those types of foundations to go into that Aquarius energy. So as you can see here in the transit chart, we do have a very similar energy as yesterday. The sun is going to be conjoining up to Jupiter. So still that expansive, that optimistic and positive outlook on things, um, especially in the constellation of Leo. This is about that self-expression. So I think self-expression should continue to flow quite smoothly. We are in this gibbous phase of the lunar energy, so the energy should be quite high at the moment for most of us. But um, here to express ourselves, to tap into that playful attitude about life. And um, with Jupiter, perhaps even understanding a little bit more about life path and where we're headed and seeing the bright side of that or at least the uh, overall side of that the big picture side of that um, you know during this time period so that'll be strong i think that'll be certainly a highlight mixed with a little bit of this mercury sex dialing up to saturn still still a good day for routine health diet and i would say especially so because mercury is very close to that north node and they're going to be going conjunct tomorrow so for the past two years, we've had this energy of self-discipline, like um, self-routine, self-improvement, helping others, um, service work, a lot of this energy that's been shifting for us in terms of how we can be more practical, how we can be more grounded, more analytical, and take in a lot of these spiritual energies, which is Pisces, and actually live it and embody it and you know channel it through our work. So that's been the overall theme um, in terms of our life path unfolding individually very differently. But here today, I think there is a lot to learn about this and maybe even a new perspective on things relating to self-improvement and our work and things of that nature. Probably more so tomorrow, but I highly recommend all of this Virgo energy, like I've been saying, especially with Mercury sextile by Saturn right now in dignity and exaltation. And uh, with the North Node here, we can learn quite a bit about it. It is, of course, a new sort of energy. That's how it feels with the North Node. So being aware of that, but taking it slowly, and I think anything relating to improving self and other um, is a fantastic utilization of this day. So that's the general energies now in the morning time for those of us in North and South America and in the middle day for those of you in Europe. And if you're in New Zealand or Australia, do watch the previous day's video as you'll find that to be more accurate. But the moon is going to be in harmonious aspect up to that Mercury sextiling up to Saturn and that North Node configuration. So really activating that. There's a lot of flow. There's a lot of open uh, support when it comes to our willingness to take things in that uh, big picture Capricorn perspective with that discipline, that patience, all of that mastery sort of energy, especially mastery and observation of our feelings and um, observing feelings and seeing them as very important. But again, you know, taking the initiative and the uh, effort and work that is Capricorn that it takes to um, pursue those things that are important to us in life. So I think that's going to be the general energy, I think, as we approach the weekend. Certainly Aquarius will we'll, we'll be feeling that and um, tapping into that spirited freedom and the freedom to be ourselves and to let ourselves shine, I think will be a good way of segueing into tomorrow. So have a fantastic day, everyone. Thank you again for all of your support. Please let me know if you have any questions. I'll talk to you all tomorrow.